Hello, everybody, and welcome back to STF TV Season 6, Episode 2. Today, as always, I'm your host, Lucas Glazier. Our sponsors for today are Brock University and Niagara College. And if you want to know anything about them, you can email them, ask questions, gather information, explore campuses, whatever. Find out what makes them unique. And also, here are a few people you might see later today on the show. Yeah, that's uh, Carter and Sarah. And without further ado, let's just head over to our news. Hello and welcome back to STF News. I'm your host, Zach Lesby. It's my co-host, Julian DeClerc. On this segment, we round up the biggest news stories from around the school and in the world. Starting off with a massive feature from Kendrick Lamar on Future and Metro Boomin's new song, Like That. Kendrick came out on the song and claimed his crown as the king of the rap game, doing so by taking shots at Drake and J. Cole during the song. It will be interesting to see whether Drake or J. Cole will respond with a song of their own in the meanwhile, it is encouraging that diss tracks are making a comeback in the rap scene. So what do you think about that, JDC? Oh man, I, when I heard that for the first time, I was stunned, I first of all. Yeah, I, I was stunned. That. I was not expecting that kind of feature on, on, on a feature that's album. That's a heavy rotation song. Yeah, right? for that'll... sure. That's a lock in there for yeah. like a few months at least. Yeah, I can't wait to see the response. You know, that'll be yeah. Bang by Drake no. and J. Yeah, Cole, Drake and J. Yeah. Cole, they're going to link up. They're going to make more heat. It's, it's, really just, it's more for us. So yeah, exactly. It's, it's better for the fans. It's amazing. In more worldwide news, a devastating attack occurred at a Moscow concert theater on Friday by the terrorist group ISIS-K. Assyrians dressed in camouflage uniforms opened fire and threw explosive devices in the concert hall, creating a massive explosion. There was an estimated 133 casualties, and there were rumors before the attack saying how the ISIS group had very much opposed Vladimir Putin in recent years. ISIS claimed to attack Russia because of them fighting against terrorist group Daesh, along with the United States and Afghanistan. They saw Russia as a hostile country, and unfortunately, it led to many innocent lives being lost. Our hearts are with those who have been affected by this tragedy. Six people are unaccounted for following the collapse of the Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge, according to officials. Eight people were on the bridge when a cargo ship crashed into it early Tuesday. Two of them were saved from the water earlier today. The crew on the ship issued a mayday call before it collided with the bridge, said Maryland, government, said Maryland Governor Wes Moore. And we have a video of that now. It's just negligence by, uh, by everyone there. involved. Yeah. yeah. A true tragedy there. A lot. I think you can also question um, like the infrastructure at place. You know, bridges. Yeah. I feel like, especially yeah. that ones of that magnitude, I suppose, yeah. Maybe they should are be supposed able to, to like hold a little bit of a boat hold crash, a, but hold still a, hold a crash. Definitely you know? a tragedy. Like the whole bridge falling down. That's, yeah, that's that's a little ridiculous in my opinion. Rescue officials continue to search for the missing people who are part of this disaster. Our thoughts and prayers are with everyone involved and affected by this horrible tragedy. Now, a quick word from our sponsors. We are back with episode two of Phoenix Sports again here with Zach and Julian. We're headed right into the action with the biggest sports stories of the past week, mostly coming from March Madness with the Sweet 16 upcoming Thursday. The round of 32 ended off with a bang, that Creighton double OT yeah. game. Were you watching that? Yes, I was. That was, was just amazing. Uh, so I, was, I was rooting for Oregon, actually. Really? Uh, double OT, and I was like, we have a chance. Yeah. And then they, just they, lost, they lost by 15. They eight. absolutely collapsed there. They yeah, did, they yeah. left their guys out there for too long. Creighton, yeah, they, just got, they had those big three that were just, uh, yeah, they, yeah they, those Oregon guys were dead. Those two yeah, big guys, yeah. they were dead. I mean, they had no chance. It was tough. Uh, was tough. Zach Eady as well, the oh, yeah. uh, Purdue big man yeah. for Purdue. Uh, the Canadian, actually, he oh. had 23 points and 14 rebounds in their round of 32 thrashing of Utah State. Great performance. I, I know you're not a big Purdue guy. I just, I don't like their style of basketball. Like, there's no flow at all. Like... Zach he gets in the paint, he gets fouled every other possession, free throws. And it's just it's, it's not it, fun to watch. If it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, he's, he's a big player. I get it. He's like, a big they're, time they're, no, they're a good team. I know that. It's just it's a bad brand of basketball in my in my humble opinion. I enjoy I enjoy watching. I enjoy watching. That's, it's, all right. 
Your Iowa State boys won. That was your predictor yeah, winner. Yeah, <laughs> rolling, rolling, Ridiculous making crack. it all the way. Ridiculous making crack. it all the way. All uh, right. Zach Hyman hit 50 goals this season. Oh, yeah. That former Leaf, you know. Uh -huh. Not the type of guy you'd expect to have 50 goals. Oh, I mean, when you're playing online with McDavid, he's got yeah, like it's all passes on the game. power play. Yeah, obviously. yeah. But, I've, uh, seen, I've seen a little chart where like more than half his goals are just like right in front of, <laughs> right in front of the net. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's what he does. Again, you know, it's going in the net. You know, yeah. goal, a goal is a goal. Yeah, a goal is a goal. Yeah, exactly. Uh, who right. you got in the Hart Trophy this year for the NHL? Hart Trophy. So we got was David. Kucherov, McKinnon, McDavid. I'd say are the front runners. I think Kucherov. Been like ridiculous. I think, McK I think McKinnon's going to take. It. I think it'll... I saw I saw Kucherov had like 15 points in four games or yeah, whatever or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that gets him in, but yeah. that we'll see. Um, what else? The hip drop tackle yeah. in the NFL was banned. Mm -hmm. Just if you don't know what that is, we have a little yeah, video here to show you what the hip drop tackle is. You see, it just pulled down. It's caused a lot of ACL, Achilles. Achilles. Mark Andrews is out for the year with this here yeah. by Logan Wilson. See, See just how he lands knee. on his on his the bottom of his ankle. There. Yeah, the Achilles. I believe was it. Uh, it's like something in the knee. Something, I believe. Yeah, yeah, like. But uh, it's caused a lot of injuries in the past, so the NFL has outlawed that. Mm -hmm. You a fan? You know, players don't like it. I know that players no. are complaining about defensive, defensive players don't players, like it. Exactly. Offensive players love it because yeah, uh, I feel like there's going to be. A, I mean, the yeah. NFL saw what happened with scoring this year. It went, it went down, down by a lot. I think they're. They, they want to nerf the defense a little bit, yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so I think uh, there's going to be some higher scoring games and uh, sure. more fancy points for players. So <laughs> no fans can be it. happy about that, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now right. we would like to welcome our pick man, Mr. Thomas Goodwin, to give us his take on some of the biggest games in the world of sports. Hey, Thomas. Hello, Thomas. How's good to have you here again. Uh, yes, good to be back. Uh, so our first question of the day, Leafs play the Devils tonight. At uh, 7.30. Yeah. Okay, what's your read? What's your read? Uh, you know, I think those uh, Hughes boys on the Devils are Oh, oh yeah. Wow, they... but I don't think they're any match for match. Oh. So, uh, no oh, chance. got me there. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. I think the Leafs are rolling. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't go against that. Do you have a little score prediction? Um, I'm thinking a little 5-3 win for the Leafs. 5-3 win? 5-3 high score. Right. I like that. I agree. Okay. I agree. Okay. And now March Madness. Who, let's give us your little final four yeah. here. What do you What do you got? Four. Um, in the left side, can't go wrong with UConn. Yeah, they are. No, yeah, they they, they got to be the favorites. So I think uh, UConn versus Arizona. Mm -hmm. And then right side, gonna have to go with Houston, the one seed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they look good. First Tennessee. Those are some good picks. Yeah, Those are some good picks. Right. I like that. Right, hey, yeah. who Who you got taking it all? Gotta go with you. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Not, yeah. Not it's, a, pick, it's an easy pick. It's an easy pick. No, I, I, don't, I respect it, though. I don't see how they do to be honest with you. Uh, well, I, hey, as always, yeah. Thomas, thank you for yeah. coming to Phoenix Sports. Yeah. Hey, we'll see Thanks you next week. See ya. Oh, oh, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Thomas. Thomas. Wow. Right. What a man. Yep, and for, so for this week, no new school sports news at the current moment, and we will continue. Uh, we are continuing the transition period between winter and spring sports. But as always, we wish all athletes trying out for spring sports good luck. Keep an eye on for the athletic board for any information on your respective sport. Go get them, Phoenix. That's it for us here on Phoenix Sports. Have a beautiful day, Phoenix. Peace. Peace. We know that starting university is a big adjustment for everyone, but will help make it as smooth as possible for you. Even though school can get stressful at times, you're more than just a number on our campus and there will always be someone here to listen to you. For the past four years, Brock has been rated number one out of all Canadian universities for the mental health services we provide. Brock offers a range of services such as free personal counseling and 24 seven support if you need it. Or if you're more comfortable speaking with a fellow student, we also have peer health educators who are happy to talk with you about managing stress, improving your health and wellness and more. Personally, I've worked for Student Accessibility Services, helping to create programs that you can take part in over the summer to get you ready for your first year. I was in your shoes not too long ago, so I can personally promise that we are all here for you. Everything is going to be okay. Hey Phoenix, welcome back to episode two of SCF TV and our second weather segment. 
I'm Rosalind Choka, your host, and as always, today I'm going to be giving you guys some weather updates and suggestions as to what you should wear to school and other activities. Starting off the week, yesterday we saw some of the warmest temperatures we've had in a while, reaching a high of 14 degrees. This is highly expected to carry on throughout the week as today we will reach similar high of 11 with a chance of rain. Tomorrow you can expect more of the same temperatures with a low of 4 degrees and a high of 12, experiencing cloudy conditions all throughout the day. As for Thursday and Friday, it's expected to cool down a little bit with lows of 0 and 1 degrees and highs of 9 and 8 degrees. Although the sunny conditions should make it feel a little bit warmer, finally for suggestions as for what to wear, it's about time that we can start to bring out our shorts, t-shirts and other spring clothes. That's all for your weather today, Phoenix. See you next week and have a great day. We want you to be successful with your transition to Brock. Our Smart Start program introduces you to our campus, our services, some must-knows, and ongoing support with your academics. As part of the Smart Start team, my favorite thing about the program is using my experiences and knowledge of Brock to help new students enjoy their time here just as much as I have. In a way, I see it as a pay it forward opportunity because I get to share my experiences and advice which gets students excited knowing they are able to do the same thing. And I think that's why it's so important to attend Smart Start. It allows you to connect with students who are once in your position and see firsthand what life as a Badger can look like. It's the first step in becoming part of this community and gives a preview of your future here at Brock. Visit brocku.ca slash start to register today. Hello everybody and welcome back to STF TV. We are here today with our food reviews and we are they are tasting food. We have today Carter, Matt, yep, Carter and Matt and we are tasting food from Wendy's A&W and a drink from Starbucks. So without further ado, I'm going to get you guys to taste the one from A&W. I have absolutely no clue what this is. So, yeah, I'm just going to got a little baggie. So, ah, take it. You can sit back on the couch and okay. munch on it. Okay, sit down. Get the maple syrup. It's not the stack. Okay, oh. make, make sure you guys Oh! <laughs> Some like... Oh my god. <laughs> Are you gonna dig it? Dig it. Dig it. It's honestly not that bad. Pretty good. It's got Chipotle on it. So, Matthew, what do you we have? I? No. What, what do we have today? What is that? Looks like we got some habanero sauce, lettuce, some pickled onions, and maybe some hash brown. Little hash brown sandwich. Not right. bad, honestly. Right, well, different combinations. Different but. combinations. Thank you. Hey, Carter, what would you rate it on a scale from one to ten? Like a seven. Like a seven, Matthew. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Would you have it again? No. If someone bought it for me, maybe, but I wouldn't buy it for myself. Never. No? What's wrong with it? I would just always get a Buddy Burger. Yeah. <laughs> buddy Burger. <laughs> okay, anyways, next we have, I'll, I'll get you guys to, actually no, I'll do this one next. We have something from Wendy's, uh, so you guys can just look in that bag and take it out. Some French toast sticks. Some French toast sticks. <laughs> Yeah, get the, get the syrup in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Going in for that. That's 10. Yeah, that's, that's a 10. 10. That's a 10. That's a 100% 10. And they're cheap too, I'm pretty sure. How much do they cost? I think they're like four bucks. Only four, only four, four bucks. Something like that. That is not cheap. Four bucks, wow. For four stacks. But would you guys have it again? Oh yeah. 100%. 100%, all right. Uh, I'm just gonna let you guys chow on that. But we have something to wash it down. We have a ice lavender latte thing. I have no clue what this is, but it's from Starbucks, so it's probably 30 bucks or something. Mm. Oh, it's disgusting. 
<laughs> so, is it not good? No. Zero out of ten. Have a sip. Hear your thoughts. Ew. It's just weird. It right? tastes like it okay. tastes like you're eating a plant. Yeah. Right. Um, Dig back in. Wow. Wait, would what would you guys rate that? Zero. Zero. Zero? Wow. It's never again. Never again. It's a waste of money. Never again. You heard that today, everybody. Never again. Do not order the lavender o latte from Starbucks because it sucks. Anyways, I think that's gonna be all for our food reviews. I think we all give you some insight on delicious stuff but that's all for today for the food reviews and we'll see you guys again maybe later we're just going to cut the commercial now goodbye Everybody to STF TV. I'm your host for the game show segment, Lucas Glazier, and we are doing today some STF trivia. We have some contestants. They are not here right now, but we're just going to ask to get them on. So everybody, please welcome. Eventually they will be on, but you will be welcoming some show hosts, and we're just going to be doing trivia, answering some stuff. My markers are on the ground. I got a French toast stick. But anyways, without further ado, let's get our contestants on. Wow. That's great. Who do we have today? I'm Sarah. I'm Mateo. That's great. Wow. Anyways, without further ado, I'm just going to put this here. Let's get started. All right. So each question is worth a certain amount of points. You can either get one, two, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'm going to be counting your scores on this whiteboard here. But we're just going to ask the questions right now. And I don't care. Shout it out. Raise your hand. I don't really care. But for the first question, who was the principal in 2020? Oh, my God. Deli? No. Uh, no. Mm. Wow. Am I still supposed to... Yes, just say oh, something. Um, I forget. I don't know. Wow. Okay. We got complete Mr. failures Wittard. over here. Uh, it was Mr. Wittard. So, good job, guys. How did you not know that? How did both uh, of you not know? I don't know. Okay. I, Anyways, I know it, but... question. What school was before, like, St. Francis? What school Holy is Cross. that called? Holy Cross. Yes, that, that is correct. Sarah has a... One point. All right. Number question number three. How many teachers came from BT in the last two years? There are six of them. Can you name them? They're all worth a point. Miss Sabatini. Miss Sabatini is one. Yes. Um. Um. Oh my gosh, she was my teacher last. Mr. Mr. Oh. oh, that's me. That's me. That's me. <gasps> I'll um, give it to Miss Ayo. Oh, the principal. What's Fiscato? what's her name? Miss Fiscato. That's it's another one for Mateo. That's are you three kidding of them. You got me? Three of them. How many more are there? There's three more. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Benry? <laughs> what? No. He's been here. Well, yeah, I know for a while, but like maybe from BC. No. Right. In the last uh, two years. Oh. All right. Do you, do you guys give up? Yeah. I, I got up? nothing. You got nothing. Wow. The rest of them were uh, Brown, Levine, and Young Toldy. Oh my gosh. Yep, yep. Anyways, question four. Who has been on staff the longest? Mr. Battery. That is one of them, but there is another. Miss Halbert. Mr. Alderson. Wow, Miss, yeah, Mateo, you are going off right now. You have five points. Yes. Sarah, not a great performance. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, question number five. After how many days did we switch classes first semester 2020? 20, 22. Yes. Why do you know how that? How do you know that? Yeah, well, okay. Everything. Question number six. What year did we switch uniforms and logos? Yeah. 2014. 
Yes, 2014 to 2015. Good job. Wow. Uh, who's the youngest staff member? This is worth... Ms. Sabatini? No. This is worth two points, apparently. Mr. Bellamy? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Impressive. All right, question number eight. How many years have boys basketball won the Mike Sullivan tournament? Eight. eight. No. Nine. Three. No. Five. No. Six. Yes, six. Why do you stop number. saying stuff? I don't know, she interrupted me. <laughs> you know you can speak also. Yeah, we meant to raise our hand. Okay. <laughs> Question number nine. What is the most recent trophy won by non-athletic people? The Reach Team trophy. Yes, that, that is right. I worded that a bit weirdly, Should but... Get close <laughs> what is the most lunches STF ever had? The what? The most lunches? The most lunches. I guess in a day they had this many lunches. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen lunches in a day. Thirteen. Wow, wait, Mateo, what did you say? Three? Yes, the answer was three. <laughs> thirteen lunches. It's not even thirteen, like, Like, anything. I thought they meant lunches you're serving, like, food. Like, three periods no. of lunch? Uh, question number eleven, how many portables do we have as of now? Six. Seven. Eight. Seven. <laughs> Good job, Mateo. Mateo, you have eleven right. points. Sarah, you have three. Okay, anyways. Question number 12. What school are we supposedly supposed to merge with? Holy Cross. Yes, I didn't know. We are? I, I guess so. Yeah. I did not know that either. Um, <laughs> anyways, number 13. How many teachers have kids at this school? That is a weird question, but how many do have kids? How many teachers are in the Ten. school? No. 11, no. 12, 12 no. 13, 14, no. 15, no. 16, no. 17, no. 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 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 5, 4 3, 2. Mateo. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was, that was a little good one. How many sets of twins are there in the school? Ten. No. Eight. Six. Yes. Eight. How do we know this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what year did St. Francis open? 1995. Yes. Okay, you know your stuff. Oh it's on the hoodie. Yeah. Well, Not the grad. Not yet. Yeah, oh. no. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, <laughs> how many teachers are at the school? 30. 15. No. 20. 18. No. 25, 26, 27, 28, 20. 31, 35, 40, 12, no, <laughs> um, 19, no, you were really close to it, 36, 37, 38, 39, 42. 40, go down, 31, 29, 32, yes, 32, oh my goodness, <laughs> wow, Sarah, you have five points yes. to Mateo's 14, oh. but you're getting up there. Whose first name is Ira or Ira, something like that? Moyer, Levi. Yep, that's oh right. God. That's right. All right. Who designed the gym floor? I did not realize that this. Mr. Alderson. Was yes, Mr. Alderson. That is right. How many beige lockers are typically in between each purple locker? Two, Four. one, five. No, three. Yes. That is a weird question, but yeah, yes. That's... I have a purple one. What uniform item is getting removed next year for skirts. green lines? Kilts. Oh, I think They're called skirts. kilts. Yeah. They're not actually skirts, yeah. so. Mm. Anyways, what is the closest feeder school? Holy Cross. No. Oh, feeder St. School. Anne's? No. St. James. St. James. Sorry, are you, are I went you, to St. James. Are you St. James alumni? St. James alumni. Wow, look at that. Wow. How many double doors lead outside? <laughs> Three. guys. I want you guys Four. to Wait, no. count for a second instead of shouting out random numbers. Five. No. Six. No. Seven. 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 Oh, the gym door. The gym door, everybody. The gym door. <laughs> Who has the latest birthday in grade 12? Who is? Carter Meridian. Apparently, no. Yes, it is. Apparently, no. I guess not. His birthday's December 31st. It is. It is. It is. It's Carter. Yeah, well, someone put Aiden Johnston, so whoever did that, that's wrong. It's Who's Carter. Aiden I got that point. Who's Aiden Johnston? He's a guy in our grade. I got that point. Yeah. Uh, whoever made these questions, uh, I want you to do better next time. Good thing I'm on the show <laughs> to know that. This is, there's three answers, so whatever. What three rooms got redone last year? The spec ed room. That's one. The, the construction room. That's another. And the gym. Yeah, weight room, gym, yeah. Yeah. I'll give you that. All right. How many staff bathrooms are there? Why Two, would anybody one, know this? One. No? Three. Three. 
Why would we know this? She says one, two, I say three. <laughs> what sports ball is in the trophy case at the front of the school? Basketball. No. Football. Yes, football. Oh. Sarah, you have 10 points. Oh, yeah. Mateo has 21, but oh, that, it's, it's okay. okay. Um, whose first name is Jeannie? Garcel. Garcel, yeah. Wow. What is the most common girl name in grade 12? There's uh, three of them, I'm pretty sure. Rachel? Nope. Kyla? Nope. Sydney? Sydney, yep. You're Sydney Green, Sydney Stoutenberg, Sydney Chavez. That's right. Good job, Mateo. You have uh, 23 points. What are the three most common guy names in grade 12? There are Carter. three Matthew. of them. Carter and Matthew are both one. There's another one, though. Aiden? No. I think there's... I think there's two of them, or there might be... Th no, I think there's two. three or something. Josh. 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 I said it first. Sarah got that. Good job, Sarah. <laughs> All right, now, final question. Doesn't really matter now because I, I, I think we have a winner. Uh, <laughs> how many bald teachers are there in St. Francis? Who? What? How many bald teachers are there? Two. One, Mr. Benry <laughs> and Mr. Cantors. No, there's three. more. Three. Aldi. Th no, there's more. Five. Five. Five? Yeah. I, can you name them? I'll give you Venry, points if you can name them. Venry, okay. Actually, no, 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 no. One point per name. One point name. per name. One point per name. Okay. Come Mr. Venery. Mr. Venery is one. Um. Oh my gosh, Mr. Alders, Mr. Alderson. Mr. Alderson. I said Mr. Ben, Mr. Alderson, Mr. Canters. Mr. Canters. Um. There's two more. Mr. Gandola. Yeah. Oh, Gand. And there is one more. Mr. Morris, Mr. Morris. I think he's bald, so sure. <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, that didn't do anything, but we, <laughs> we have a winner. And it is Mateo Prior. Wow. Give a round of applause to Mateo. Also, we have prizes what? from Niagara College that wow. you just won. T-shirt. And College. also, Sarah, you do get a little doohickey yes, there. I, I have no clue what that is. I what is it? Headphones. Headphones. And now Mateo has a shirt. Mateo, from Niagara College. From Niagara College. Why don't you? Why don't I, don't think, I don't think that's, <laughs> that's going to that fit says Brock. Wait, that's not for, that's from Brock University, from Brock and Niagara College. But we got some nice steezy no, headphones from Niagara College and then uh, from Brock. Anyways, it's guys, cool. that's it for that. the game right, show. I'm going to chow down on my toast stick. But we're going to cut the commercial now and we'll see you all in a bit. Well, guys, that was it for episode two of STF TV season six. Uh, I think we all had a fun time this episode. Great time. Great oh, time. Yeah, great. Anyways, um, we'll be back for the next episode and peace.